Chef Roger Mookie, and I'm making a grilled Caesar salad. Now, you can go to almost any restaurant in North America and get a Caesar, and it's usually gonna be pretty good, but you don't know what you're gonna get. So let's stay away from that bottled stuff. I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch using all natural ingredients. First, we have to grill our hearts of romaine. Now, what is a heart of romaine? It's the middle portion of the romaine lettuce. We're gonna cut those in half. We're gonna put it dry right on top of a nice preheated grill. And we're gonna give it a little press. By grilling it like this, we're gonna develop a lot of flavor, get a little bit of char on it, but not enough that it's soggy. All right, it's time to make Caesar dressing. So first, we start with a clove of garlic. Gonna add a little bit of salt. So we want that garlic to almost melt away into the sides of the mortar and pestle. Next, our romaine is just beautifully grilled, just slightly softened, taking on a little bit of color. Next, we're gonna add about three or four fillets of anchovy. If you're looking for anchovies in your local grocery store, check in the refrigerated section. Really, this is for the salinity, the brininess, the salt. It's gonna season this dressing. And just to get it started, I'm just gonna give it a little rough chop. I wanna make sure we get all the oil off that board as well. Some of that's gonna help it all come together. We gotta mash that up again, smooth as peanut butter. That looks really good. We're gonna use a little bit of Dijon mustard. Just mix it in. Then I'm gonna take the humble egg, but only gonna use the yolk. Now it's very important that you use a room temperature egg because if it's too cold or it's too hot, it's not gonna emulsify properly. We gotta mix that up till all those things come together in a nice, smooth liquid. We're gonna use extra virgin olive oil, about a tablespoon. It's gonna add really robust, rich flavor. You wanna make sure you add it very slowly so that it doesn't split. It's gotta emulsify fully. The paste is starting to thicken up. Now I'm gonna switch to vegetable oil, about a quarter to a third of a cup or so. It's a very neutral oil. It's very light in flavor, so it lets all the other ingredients in there speak. So you'll see our paste has gotten nice and glossy and thick. It's like a really thick mayonnaise, but it's too thick as a dressing, so I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit with some fresh lemon juice. It's gonna help to cut all of that richness and open up the palate. I just like to use my fingers, make sure the seeds don't fall into my dressing. Gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. It's gonna add a slight texture to it and also just that beautiful richness of flavor that you can only get from cheese. A little bit of black pepper. And now it gets nice and creamy and light colored. Mm. I get the brininess that's coming from the anchovies, rich garlic, a lot of big, bold flavors. Let's put this together. So let's get our grilled romaine. Gonna drizzle it lightly with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And like every salad, a little pinch of salt, a little pinch of pepper goes a long way. It's a good little restaurant trick. Take some of my Caesar dressing. And you wanna make sure that you have just enough of that Caesar dressing on there so every bite of your lettuce is gonna have a little bit of dressing. And a little touch I like to do is add a little bit of red chili flakes for a little bit of heat. And of course, our perfect cheddar crisps. I made a bunch of cheddar crisps already. I'm just gonna crack these up. These are great to eat just by themselves, but you put this inside of a sandwich, you get crunchy cheese. It's incredible. Just like that, grilled Caesar salad, one little piece of cheddar crisp for the chef.